Despite the country's economic struggles, Brazil's fashion industry remains vibrant as its most prominent designers showed off their latest collections. CCTV's Paulo Cabral has more from Sao Paulo's Fashion Week. Earlier this year, at the summer edition of Sao Paulo's Fashion Week, Brazilian supermodel Giselle Bündchen announced her retirement after a 20-year career. Many wondered how the winter event of Brazil's largest fashion show would deal with the absence of its biggest star and the worsening economic crisis. They needn't worry. Fashion enthusiasts turned out in large numbers this week and in different styles. There was no shortage of aspiring models trying to follow in Giselle's footsteps, like Vanessa Moon making her first appearance. I acredito que this is the place to be, to be seen by big designers in Brazil and get a job. It's an important entry door to this career. For this U.S. model, six months in the business, it's a career opportunity, but also a chance to have fun in a country where the U.S. dollar goes a long way against a depreciated Brazilian hell. Pretty cheap to get around, taxis, and I can see why people are a little bit stressed, but for me, I'm just enjoying it. Brazil is facing a very difficult period right now, with a severe political and economical crisis impacting the country's image with foreign investors. However, many in the fashion industry here still believe that the Brazil brand can be very helpful when marketing products and styles worldwide. Osclin is a Brazilian luxury brand which has been around since 1990. It's a key player in the Brazilian fashion market. Osclin's founder says it's time to use opportunities created by economic challenges to fight for market share abroad. From outside, we had, they had interest in buying our products, our creativity. But on the same time, it was very expensive, our products. But now I think we, have, we can have this balance. We can compete outside without origin, originality in our creativity. This is what I think is, is really strong, because it's, uh, it's a kind of economy that is intellectual, it's creative in economic, it's not so only um, commodities. Creativity is the name of the game here. The challenge for Brazilians now is to turn this potential into international business opportunities. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.